Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. My name is Sierra and in today's video, we are gonna be doing my first cash stuffing of 2023. So I'm very excited to film this video, even though I don't have all of my stuff. Um, I'm still waiting on my short-term binder envelopes and also my long-term binder envelopes. So we're gonna stuff as much as we can. And then I also have everything written down right here. I'm gonna explain to you guys kind of what I did last week and how I'm keeping track of my money until my new envelopes get here. I also got my iPad and she's so pretty, I love it. Um, so, I got the hot pink one and I'm very happy to have it. Um, the only thing is the stylus pen that I had ordered for it um, was only for the 2018 through 21 iPad. So it didn't work on this one. Um, so I have to send that back and then get a new one. Um, I did get it off of Amazon. I just was not about to pay $100 for that Apple Pencil when there's cheaper ones that do the same job. So um, I'm going to order that and then hopefully by next Friday my other envelopes will be here and then also my um, stylus pen so we can start using the iPad. Also let me know if you guys know of any good apps to use for budgeting. Um, I still need to figure that out. Um, I want something really cute and like pink so help me out i know there's a lot of cute apps out there um, i've seen people using i just don't know what they're called so if you guys know of any good ones definitely let me know um but yeah we will go ahead and get started with the cash stuffing so uh, this money that i have right here is the money that would have been stuffed last week i just put it in my old um bank bag and i put it all in order so like in money order so when I get my envelopes um, I can just take it out and put it where it needs to go that's just my way of staying organized so I'm just gonna set that to the side um, I did get my Disney um, tracker so we'll be able to at least stuff that today and then I also got my cash envelopes so we'll be able to stuff those as well um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the money I also got this new bank bag it's really cute I got it off Etsy it's just pink and glittery so right up my alley but we'll go ahead and set the money up I am running out of daylight. It's like 4.30, almost 5 here, so I actually had to use my flash. So hopefully this video comes out good. Um, I was itching to make a video. I just didn't have any envelopes at all. And then I actually got the Disney tracker and my cash envelopes today. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna make it work. You guys know I'm all about consistency and sometimes you have little setbacks, but you gotta just, you know, make it work with what you got. So that's what we're doing today. So I did write everything down here. Um, I did this last week when I, you know, put this money to the side. Figured I would just do this for now until I figure out the whole iPad situation and how to use that. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and start off. So first thing we can stuff is the Disney savings tracker. Um, I love this envelope so much. It's so cute and it's like a rainbow. It comes with like the different amounts you're supposed to save. So I think this is for a year's worth of savings, but I'm not following the amounts because if you guys remember, I did have about 1,200 and I think it was like $80 um, saved up from last year towards Disney. So I'm just gonna be adding to that. Um, so I'm adding my own amounts each week. So 40 I stuffed last week and then this week is gonna be 60. So we're just going to do a 50 and then a 10. I'm so excited to take my kids to Disney. I um, went ahead and like budgeted everything out because I was just curious as to how much it was going to cost. So when I put everything together like flights, um, the stay, food, and then the actual Disney tickets, it was about 3700 Not including spending money which is fine because I actually thought it was going to be a lot more than that um so yeah i thought that was pretty decent but i can't wait i feel like they're definitely gonna love it um so yeah 
All right, so that's the only envelope that I really have to stuff besides the cash envelope. So we'll just go ahead and stuff those and then I will um, explain to you guys the amounts that I chose for each envelope because I get that question a lot. Like, how do you come up with the um, money you stuff each week? A lot of people say like, I watch all these cash stuffing videos and I still just don't understand. Like, where do I start? So this is the perfect video for that since I don't have all my envelopes. We can kind of just go through how I come up with my numbers. But first we're gonna do my cash envelopes. So I got these in the mail and they're very cute. Just very simple, but I love how they came out. Um, I originally wanted white wording, but I guess the girl said all she could do was black. So here we are with the black writing, um, which is still fine. So starting off with my envelope, we are stuffing $20 this week. Next is for babies and babies is going to get 20 as well. Moving on to dine out. So dine out this week, I am stuffing 40. I really wanna to go to Cheesecake Factory. If you guys have ever been there, I am obsessed with their salads um sometimes we go just for the salads like i always get just a caesar salad but with ranch dressing and diced tomatoes and i don't know it just does something for me i just love it so sometimes we go just for that and the bread um but yeah they have really good salads um next is for groceries and groceries is going to get its normal 60 dollars. so a 50 and then a 10 Moving on to Starbucks. So Starbucks is getting $10 this week. Next is for nails. Nails I am stuffing 50. It's almost time for me to get a fill on my nails. I actually broke one off last night while I was cleaning and I had to um, glue it back on. So I really like this. This is the OPI bubble bath. It's just very basic, but I don't know. I like it. Um, necessities I'm not stuffing just don't need anything really and gas I am stuffing $40 so $40 um, is what I stuffed last week as well and I actually still have gas in my car haven't been doing much I haven't been going many places I just been working I've been working overtime and I've been just in the house I told you guys once I moved I was gonna be in the house a lot and it's honestly just what I love to do like I'd rather stay in and watch movies versus go out, um, to be completely honest. So, yeah, haven't been doing too much. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the cash envelopes. And then um, I do have all the money here that I would have stuffed if I had my envelopes. So, I'll just pretty much explain it to you guys. So, I do give my kids $50 each week. So, Aston will get $50 and Alea will get $50 as well. Um, I like to keep them even. It just makes me feel best. So... That's why I give them each 50 and I feel like $200 a month for each kid is just what works for me. My goal for them is to have $50,000 by the time that they turn 18 and um, they're on a pretty good track, you know, to reach that goal. So $200 a week is good for me. Um, next is for family time and family time this week is going to get $20. So we love doing family related stuff. It is pretty expensive these days to do much of anything, um, whether it's going to the movies, the beach, whatever it is. And then like when you're doing amusement parks and like fun stuff like that, it gets pretty costly. So I try to save up um, as much as I can. That way we just have extra to, you know, do stuff with the kids and as a family because it's definitely not cheap these days. Um, so $20 a week works best for me. And then you know whatever we do like if we go to like amusement parks and big things like that we'll usually split that but even beach days and things like that cost you know you're spending like 50 to 100 dollars because the kids want ice cream they want fries they want this they want that they see toys so yeah <laughs> that's why i do for uh 20 um a week i feel like it works best next is for vacation vacation this week is getting 40 dollars and I don't always stuff $40 a week for vacation. It's just kind of what I came up with this week. Um, I still had about a thousand and some dollars rolled over from last year towards vacation. And honestly, I don't really have any vacations planned. Um, I do want to go to Miami and I think I'm going to go either in February or March. I just haven't 
booked anything just yet i don't know i'm literally such a homebody like part of me wants to travel i really do i want to go places i want to do stuff and then at the same time i'm like i don't feel like packing a whole suitcase it just gives me anxiety and especially flying i end up just staying home um but i'm gonna try to venture out and go somewhere um in the next month or so just because i feel like i need to so um that is the vacay next is for house so house is getting 20 and this is just going towards the house savings because you know things break things happen you need to fix things you need things that you're you know not expecting so i just like to be prepared either way um so i just do 20 dollars a week i do still have a good amount saved in the house savings so 20 dollars is good for me um next is for the business and business is getting 20 dollars as you guys know it it's a pretty um, good amount to start a business. So I do need to save up towards that. And that is what I'm doing. Um, next is for surprise. Surprise is getting 40. And um, as you guys know, I told you, I'll let you know what the surprise is a little bit down the road. You guys were cracking me up with your guesses. Everybody was like, it has to be a baby or it has to be marriage. Um, so yeah, those are pretty um, life-changing surprises that you guys were throwing at me, but you'll just have to wait and see. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, next is for new car and for new car, I am stuffing $50. So that'll be for new car. Uh, people were asking like, what kind of car am I gonna get? What kind of car do I want? And to be honest, I don't know just yet. Um, I really wasn't planning on getting rid of my Jeep for a while. I love my car so much, but you know, things come up, things happen. So I am going to be getting a new one. If it was up to me, I would drive a Dodge Charger. I'm obsessed with chargers. I always see them around and I like just stare at them. I'm like, I want a charger so bad but obviously i'm not going to be able to you know tote around my kids in a charger so well i guess i could but it would just be not that smart um the only reason i have a jeep and like a suv is because of my kids if i didn't i would probably drive like a coupe of some sort but there's no way i'm about to be putting kids you know in the back seat of a two-door car so um I will most likely be getting another SUV. I just don't know what yet. So yeah, that's new car. Um, oh, and so the point of me adding $50 is I do have money saved in my personal savings account that I could use. I just want to try to save as much as I can for the car. Um, I'll probably put down about 2000 maybe three. It just depends on what I, you know, need to put down at the time. Um, so I'm looking in the range of like max 35k for the car. I just feel like I don't want a crazy high car payment. Um, 350 is like the max that I want to spend a month. Um, I don't know to each their own, but I just feel like car like six seven hundred dollar car payment like no, it's just not worth it to me. So yeah, we'll see what I can um you know come up with with car. Next is for Amazon. Amazon is getting $10. You guys know I love Amazon. I order from them quite often and I have a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to really try this year to cut back on my Amazon spending. So $10 there. Um, clothes is also going to get $10. And then birthdays is um, also getting $10. Don't really have many birthdays coming up. Um, my son's birthday just passed. He turned four. I can't believe he's four years old. It feels like I just had him yesterday. Um, but we went snow tubing. Um, we went to the Poconos for his birthday. It was a lot of fun, but it was really crowded. So that kind of took away from like our time there because everything is in like um, time slots. But overall, we had a lot of fun. So I'm glad that we got to do that. And then next is for Christmas. Um, so Christmas is getting $20. So for Christmas this year, um, I honestly, I say it every year and every year I do go less and less, which I'm proud of myself for, but I'm really not going overboard with toys um, for Christmas this year. So I'm probably going to stuff about $500 and that's going to be it from me. I did good this year. I really didn't overspend. I spent pretty much what I had saved up in my envelope for Christmas and like 14 extra dollars, I think. Um, so it wasn't that bad, but 
Half my son's toys are already broke. My daughter honestly shows no interest in the toys that she has. <laughs> so I'm just like, mm. yeah, we'll do like three or four toys next year and then a trip for sure because I bought, they had got a good amount of stuff this year. They're just not really that interested in playing with it. I don't know what it is. They just, they don't really play with toys. Um, it's more like the tablets. They got the Amazon, the Kindle tablets those they love um but everything else i mean like they don't just sit and play with toys like it's always just they want to be outside running around which is fine but yeah anyway um next is for giveaway and giveaway is just getting five dollars this week we're so close to 14k which i just realized when i looked at my um channel so if you're not already subscribed make sure you do subscribe because we will be doing a 14k giveaway and last envelope is for date night and date night is just getting ten dollars um i want to start doing like date nights more frequently because i feel like we just don't do them as much as we used to and i feel like it's really important so that's something that i'm going to uh, make a priority this year and then the last thing is going to be for the 52 week savings challenge and it's just getting 150 dollars this week so that's that so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add this money to this envelope here. That way once, um, like I said, my envelopes get here, I can just put this in. Actually, I'm going to put it in the back. I can just put this in there and, you know, be on track pretty much. Um, so fingers crossed that all of my stuff gets here before next Friday. I feel like it should. It's scheduled to be shipped out or like whatever the Etsy does. They do like the date that it's supposed to ship out. Um, so it's scheduled. I believe they're both for Tuesday. Actually, you know what? No, one is already on the way. And then the other one is supposed to ship by Tuesday. So it should be here by Friday. I'm hoping. Um, and then I'm going to figure out the iPad over this next week and then we'll be back on track with cash stuffing. So I tried my best today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you are looking to, you know, start cash stuffing and you want to get started, it's never too late to start if you don't know what you're doing just kind of wing it um that's what i did at first but it'll all come together for you and you'll start to understand as you go and you can switch up your categories and the amounts as you need to so it is a really fun method to use if i'm being completely honest i have a lot of discipline when it comes to my finances and i don't necessarily need to cash stuff um especially not anymore just based on where I'm at financially, I just do it still because I do genuinely enjoy it and I do enjoy making these videos for you guys. But um, if I wasn't doing these videos, I probably wouldn't cash stuff anymore just because, like I said, I'm pretty much disciplined to the point where I know what I need, you know, to save each month and I don't have any problem not touching the money that would be in the bank. But a lot of people, you know, lack discipline and that's fine. Um, so I do feel like cash stuffing is really awesome for people who lack discipline. Um, and you can just kind of, you know, budget everything out and have it in front of you and see what you're saving each week, month and so on. But yeah, that's it. At this point, I'm just rambling because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long and I missed you all. But um, I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to go do a little bit of shopping. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I actually, so one of my goals for the new year was to get a promotion by spring. And I actually got an offer for a promotion. Um, so I have the interview on the 18th. So wish me luck. That'll be a, like a supervisor position and I'm excited for it. So hopefully all things go well with the interview and your girl will be making some more cash soon. But yeah, that's a little update for you guys. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have. I am kid free tonight. My kids went with their grandma. So I'm going to go do a little bit of shopping. I think probably like TJ Maxx because my daughter needs some new clothes. So I'm going to go see what I can find. But yeah, you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys in next week's video. Bye.